Hi everyone. Welcome to this lecture series on flip classroom activities. So we are all familiar with the term. What is a flip classroom? A flip classroom is an instructional strategy and a type of blended learning. It reverses the traditional learning environment. It's more learner centric so that the students are introduced to the learning material before class and within the classroom they are being used to deepen understanding through discussion with peers and problem solving activities facilitated so before getting into the topic let's have a table of contents first of all if you're creating a flip classroom activity you should give an introduction about yourself we are having two types of segments that is an in class segment as well as an out class segment and how we are going to evaluate both these segments and finally how to build community so here what i am trying to do is to create a flip classroom constructor for the topic network topology that comes under the course computer networks it's mainly meant for the first year mc students of apj abdul kalam technological university the major learning objectives so after watching this one the students they understand the various network topologies they explore the variations of the standards networking topologies they understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of this and finally they are able to select the best network topology for their environment and for the out class segment i'm preferring an nptel video so you have to refer to www.nptelvideos.in for a computer networks html that's actually licensed by ccb by sa so here we are having video of a total length of 46.58 minutes we are having different videos relating to the different network topologies what are the pros and cons when and where to use each topologies after completing this one we need an assign assessment technology we need to assess the course so for assessing this actually a basic understanding of topology so we are having some basic questions like what is what are the basic network topologies available then what are the features be specific regarding bus topology then how a ring topology is working and what are the features of a star topology so the students they need to watch the different videos there is v1 v2 and v1 and v2 for answering the question 1 they have to watch the video 3 and then answer the question 2 finally they have to watch the video 4 and 5 and they have to answer the question 3 then finally they need to apply the knowledge that have gained so they need to plan which topology is normally used in lan for that they have to watch videos v6 and v7 and they have to answer the question and they have to answer which topology is currently used in your computer lab so it's a real world implementation of the network topology so once they get familiar with all these topics they can clearly understand which topology we are using inside the lab i mean the lab itself so finally we can say that at the end of the class or at the end of this course the students they are able to analyze the different topology they differentiate between these different classes and finally they are having a finite knowledge regarding which topology to implement in the corresponding lab we are having the in class activity so within the classroom we have to apply two things the first one is a think pair share strategy and the next one is a role play this actually meant for the concept clarification we can make use of the peer instructions also for that the instructor or the peer instruction strategy or the instructor need to ask some basic questions like which basic topology is used in most of the lab
or you can ask examine your computer since programming lab and identify which network topology is used and you have to justify your answer for this tps strategy you have to think for two minutes then after that you have to discuss with your peers and finally you have to share your opinion And in both the above strategies, the students are required to go beyond mere listening. They are required to think deeply about the content they were familiarized with. Moreover, they have to develop high order thinking. So there is also a feedback provided through instructor's summary. Thanks all for watching this video. Thank you.